Lithium ion batteries, they come in all shapes and sizes. And you know what? They can cause this right here, what you're seeing, a house fire. There's been many a house fire in our area, all due to a lithium battery. Matt Grossclose, Greensboro Fire and Life Safety Educators with us to talk about lithium batteries. How do we use them? How do we dispose of them? Why are they so dangerous anyway? Well, the chances of something happening with them is slim, but when it does, things are going to go catastrophically wrong. A lot of the times it's because the lithium ion batteries will overheat due to improper charging, maybe not proper ventilation, not using the right cable. Uh, you also want to make sure that you don't put them on for too long. If a battery charges in 90 minutes, don't leave it on overnight. Okay, so that's a big thing because I think people use like, you know, lawn tools and stuff like that and they just leave them in the garage charging all the time. Absolutely not. As soon as it's in the green, you want to unplug it and take it off the charger. Okay, and so we've got some chargers and some batteries here. And the reason why I wanted to like show them is every drill or whatever it is comes with something, right? It comes with the battery, it comes with the charger. A lot of times though something happens, people want to buy an off-brand. You want to make sure that you buy the exact same one from the manufacturer, use the exact same charger that goes with that device. Okay, so lithium batteries as well as regular batteries, you can't just dispose of them in your recycle and your trash. Correct. If anybody says recycle batteries, they're absolutely wrong. You need to make sure that you dispose of them. They cannot go in the regular trash can or anything else like that. If they go into the trash truck and they have the compactor and they get compromised, it could cause a fire. They don't get recycled, they get disposed of, and there's actually local disposal sites that people should take them to. Okay, so there are local disposal sites like all around in the triad, but there is an event that's coming up that people can take a whole bunch of these things to. That's correct. Actually, this Saturday, there's a recycle rodeo happening at the Guilford Elementary School right here in Greensboro. Right. Saturday from, one to, uh, from 9 to 1 p.m. People can take all their batteries and household waste and things like that and dispose of them properly. Yeah, electronics as well. Anything that's got a plug, you can't stick that in your trash that's either. Right. You actually have to send it to some uh, waste um, area, right, for recycling and that kind of thing. All right, so our regular batteries have to do that. Our recycling batteries have to do that no way shape or form that we should be throwing them out. I just want to make sure we get this through. Correct and even regular alkaline batteries people should be taping the ends to make sure that they can't come into contact with any kind of metal and cause a spark. Okay gotcha. All right so um, we want to talk about as well what you guys are doing for fire prevention week because fire prevention week's coming up in just the next week or so. This is an opportunity for you, your kids, your grandkids, anybody of any age to learn something. That's right, and we'll be kicking things off this Saturday actually with an event at the Home Depot off of Brassfield Road on the north side of Greensboro. We'll be there with our safety trailer in the morning. We'll have a fire truck out and everything else. I think this first one up that we have is the Fire Prevention Week, and this is at the Greensboro Science Center. So what is this all about? Oh, absolutely. So that's our weekly event that we do uh, every year at the Greensboro Science Center. We'll have our fire safety trailer out. We'll have a fire truck out at that event. This year's theme being charging the fire safety. We'll be entertaining the kids and educating the adults on lithium ion battery dangers. Okay, and then we've got one more graphic we want to show people because it's a weekend event that deals with all the fun stuff for the kids to kind of yeah. learn about all fire safety. That's right. This event up at the Home Depot off of Brassfield Road is going to be great. There's going to be workshops for the children and everything. Guilford Metro 911 is going to make an appearance uh, as well as some other community partners, and we'll be out there with a fire truck and our fire safety trailer. Okay, we've got this out right here, which is the smoke alarm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, for folks who are kind of like, ah, oh, I've had my smoke alarm, it's fine, it works, I hear chirping every now and then, you say what? They expire. Mm -hmm. And um, it's amazing how many people don't know that. They put them up and they say, I have one, it works, I've tested it, it's fine. Even if you test it, it may not actually activate in the event of a fire, especially if you've done construction in your house, if there has been, um, if there's been dust that's gotten on it and everything else, they expire after 10 years, they need to be replaced. Okay, and you people are thinking to themselves, how do I know that my smoke alarm expires? It actually has a date on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's of course in the smallest print known to man, it but it's gonna have the date that it was manufactured on it. Mm -hmm. uh, this alarm in particular, if I take a look at the back, it says that it was manufactured back in July of 2017. It's good for another two years. After those two years, you're going to need to make sure that you get a new one. Yeah, and it's one of those things that every home needs to have one outside of every single bedroom. Should be one actually on every level of every house and every sleeping area. So if anybody may take a nap in your living room or take a nap in the basement or anything, mm -hmm. there needs to be a smoke alarm in there. and as well ideally in every bedroom. Okay, so. we thank you for your time. We're going to be putting this in the two wants to know section of our website. That way you can get all those dates and times for all of the events that are coming up right now. We throw it off to Tim.